need a look that will last you the entire day. Nakuha ko pa attention mo. Nakuha ko pa attention mo. Nakuha ko pa attention mo. Stay tuned to learn some more. Hi guys, Tim Tam here, your head ninja. Today, we are going to do a hulas proof makeup routine for oily skin. Actually, ito hindi ako masyadong kampanting i-recommend to everybody. Yung ibang tips and tricks na gagawin ko today is definitely hindi siya magiging advisable for everyone. I always tell people na it's important to moisturize your face before putting any makeup on. At least ito yung pinakaunang barrier mo before maglagay ka ng chemical sa mukha mo. No? And I, I, I need something na medyo magkocontrol sa oil ko sa baba kasi I'm going to do a lot of dewy makeup sa taas. So to do that, I'm going to use Pond's Modifying Cream. I really like this one kasi medyo makapal siya pero kailangan mo lang siyang ipat ng mabuti lalo na pinofocus ko lang siya doon sa medyo malalaki yung pores ko kasi it really does help ma-blur out yung pores no pat 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 I think instantly I can see a difference na from kanina and now no nakita ko na medyo mas nagmatify talaga siya and medyo nagbrighten kasi yung cream is white it's a little rosy, pero it's nice. After letting your moisturizer set a little, magpo-proceed na ako sa paglagay ng primer. Okay, this one, medyo surprising, and I'm not sure kung mag lahat, pero I've tried this as an experiment before. This is, hindi ka siya sa kamay ko, so. <laughs> this is Fenty, Fenty's Body Lava. This is in the shade Trophy White. Bakit ko nilalagay ito sa whole face ko as a primer? Kasi sobrang lagkit nito. Sobrang lagkit niya na kumakapit talaga yung ipapatong kong foundation sa kanya. So medyo um, delikado siya kasi kung sensitive ka and acne prone yung skin mo, wag mong gagawin to. Kasi you're putting, you're blocking your pores with glitters. Um, I really like itong ano. I really like this one from Fashion 21. Perfect stick with tea tree oil. So, nagamit ko na to before. And yung tea tree oil niya talaga nakakatulong na um, makontrol ng konti yung oil. Although, I have to warn you na kahit anong gawin mo if you're going to use cream foundations stick foundations kahit anong gawin mo lagi siyang magiging oily kasi I think properties talaga ng cream is mag do up so, so since nakalapat na sa buong mukha ko yung um, shade na warm tea from fashion 21 stick with tea tree oil ito yung natutunan ko kay Patrick Star papatungan ko siya ng full coverage foundation so I'm using Tom Ford's uh, Waterproof Foundation Concealer. This is in the shade Natural. Actually, hindi naman siya ganun ka full full. But I'm going to put two lang muna dyan. And here. Since nasa stretch ko pa yung product sa kamay ko, ni stretch ko pa siya sa whole face ko. And then, going to blend lang. So the reason why I'm using a sponge is para medyo maging natural siya kahit unnatural na yung dating niya. I'm sorry if you can hear the pouncing. First time kong itry na nasa harapan yung mic ko. So, so I'm making sure lang na ma-blend ko ng mabuti lahat kasi ayoko ng cake. Pero pag natapos to, sasabihin nyo, anong hindi cake? Eh, super cakey ng ginagawa ko. Later, you'll see. <laughs> Since kanina, medyo mas konti yung nilagay ko na product, um, nagpump ako ng isang pea size. And then, kinalit ko lang dito sa mga medyo problematic areas ko, no? Like, especially here sa may um, cheeks ko kasi yung pores ko talaga halata. And then, normally, people would tell you na parang wag ka maglalagay ng foundation sa may under eye mo kasi responsibility na yun ng concealer to conceal your eyes pero since almost black na yung under eye ko sa, sa sobrang sama I, uh, 
I press it in ng konti para at least makakatulong siya doon sa concealer. And then, I'm going to use Tarte Shape Tape. This is in the shade Light Medium. Ito, hindi, gustong gusto ko to pero hindi ko siya laging ginagamit kasi sobrang kapal niya. So, lalagay ko lang siya ng ganyan. Normally, kapag ka nagko-concealer ako, super dami. Like, pag nakita mo yung get ready ko prior sa video na to, talaga kapag, kasi alam ko yung foundation na yun is medyo medium coverage lang. So, lahat yan ko coveran ko. Pero, since this one is, um, hindi na nga to medium eh. This is full, full na talaga. No? So, maingat lang ako. Normally, when I'm doing my concealer, pinapatuyo ko muna siya ng konti. Konti lang. Siguro, I would wait for 20 seconds bago ko i-blend out. Para medyo mas mas maging rich siya, no? Medyo mas maging, mal, nagiging mas malapot siya kasi nagsiset na siya and then saka mo siya pipiliting ikalat. So, yung coverage siya mas kumakapal. So, um, with this one kasi, medyo super full to. So, hindi ko na siya inaantay mag-set kasi pag nag-set to, baka mag-cake na. Kapag ka, nalagay ko na yung um, concealer ko sa isang side, pinapat ko na agad ng powder para maiwasan ng creasing. I'm using the other side. So, when I'm blending out, it's important sa akin na yung dito, yung pinakakanto ng eye ko dito, makoveran ko siya ng sobra. Kasi yan yung madalas na parang hindi ko alam kung bakit, pero lagi siyang nababakbak or natatanggal. And then, kinakalat ko siya sa lids ko kasi I don't do eyeshadow nga. So, feeling ko kapag ka mas light ng konti yung eye lids ko, feeling ko mas buhay at tsaka mas gising yung dating. And then, since medyo full yung tart shape tape, I'm going to scrape lang. Super konting-konti lang. Konting-konti lang. And I'm going to add a little dito sa fine line ko sa noo. It's, grabe. Yung stretch ng formula ng, 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 ng shape tape is malala. So, yung tuldok na yan, kaya niyang kumalat na siguro buong forehead ko pa. Na pa sobra ako ng lagay. And then, I make sure na mapat ko siya ng sobra. Kasi... Kapag ka hindi mo binlend ng sobra-sobra to, tsaka hindi mo siya sinet agad, yung, yung fine line na yan, magsasama-sama yan dyan. So, ang dating parang may meeting yung concealer mo dyan. No? After that, bago ko mag-set ng buong mukha ko, I'm going to use Revlon's Color Stay. Super dark ng kulay niya. No? I'm going to use this as... Um, a bronzer putting I really enjoy bronzing up my forehead sobra um, not sure if ito yung dapat pero I enjoy it no? I don't think I should let anybody dictate kung ano yung gusto ko or whatever no? kung medyo harsh yung line huwag muna kayong matakot okay? kasi hindi pa tayo nagsaset most of the time, I enjoy using liquids, no? Bago ko iset. That's, that's the trick kasi eh. Before you set your face, lahat ng creams ilagay mo na, lahat ng liquids ilagay mo na. Tapos pag pinatungan ko to ng setting powder, doon mo nakikita yung magic eh. Doon mo nakikita na parang tumatagos yung bronze underneath, you know? Pero since we're doing this full coverage style, Mas, mas gusto ko yung ganito kaysa yung powder kasi yung powder uh, mawawala din yun agad sa skin ko kasi number one super pawisin na ko if my foundation is ganito ka dark o no, ganito ka bronze hindi ako naglalagay dito sa jawline or siguro I'll use lang kung ano yung leftover dito that's it kasi masyado siyang sharp nakita ako ng ibang tao na nagpa bronze dito Tapos pagka gumununok ito mo dito brown no, tapos dito white, parang ang lungkot. Hmm? Super lungkot na parang, ba't kailangan mangyari sa buhay yun? This is the point na pwede kang mag-decide if you want to powder pa or do you like, do you enjoy the glow na meron ka? Pero ako, I want to take it further kasi kailangan ko to magal the whole day. So what I'll do is, I'll spray some Fix Plus.
Normally, gustong gusto kong nagkikake sa Fix Plus before putting powder. So, the powder that I'm going to use ngayon is, may pangalan to ah. Nakalagay, this is Coty Air Spawn in Translucent Extra Coverage. Kasi talagang may extra coverage siya at mas matagal mahulas. And then, I add yung F21 na banana powder. I think yun yung number 3, yung dark nila. So, habang bumabagsak na yung tubig sa mukha ko, I'm going to add the powder. So what I'll do is, I'll bake muna sa so under eyes ko. Then magbabake ako sa forehead, sa nose, chin, and here sa ilalim ng contour and bronze. Normally, if you're baking, dapat mga 10 to 15 minutes para talagang bumagsak yung, yung pinaka powder before mo siya i-buff out. Pero I'll wait muna for 5 minutes. After 5 or so minutes, you can already see na medyo namumuumuo na yung powder, no? So, since this is loose powder, para ma-buff off ko siya, I'm going to use a large brush and I'm going to use this one. This is Fashion 21's Cake Foundation. This is in the shade 5. So, what I'll do with this one is, kasi ang, ang powder... I think this one sabi sa akin ng Fashion 21 na consultant, no? parang pwede siyang wet or dry. So, kapag uh, ginagamit ko siya ng matagal na brush, parang namumuo siya because of the oil. So, you can you see? Parang siyang namumuo. So, what I'll do is kukuha ko ng um, pang scoop ng cream foundation and then I'll, I'll scrape it lang. Scrape a little. So, can you see? Minong tatanggal. So, parang nagkakaroon ka ng loose powder. Don't forget na cake foundation to. So, you're technically caking yourself. That's why, sabi ko kanina, this is not for everyone. So, I'm not sure kung ano yung reason kung bakit yung ibang um, napapanood ko sa YouTube, they would use um, pressed anything, pressed powder, para ma-buff off yung loose powder. I'm not really sure of the logic, ano. Pero, Ang sa akin lang is I'm making this as full coverage as possible. No, if if you find na medyo cakey yung dating niya, cakey talaga to. <laughs> you see the difference kapag ka super full coverage yung ginamit kong concealer tapos pinatungan ko pa ng full coverage foundation, no. So this took me a while para magets no. Parang pinagsama-sama ko yung mga napapanood ko sa YouTube eh, and then I translate it into my own. Para minsan nga sabi ko eh parang drag na matong makeup ko parang ganun eh and then to take the bronzing a little further I'm going to use Jcat's Lux Pro Powder Nas tinransfer ko kasi yan sa sifter so I just tap kung anong matira kasi medyo ingat sa loose powder ha lalo na pagka kinagamit yung bronzer is loose powder kasi hirap kontrolin ito na naman tayo sa quick quick Then, yung mga kaibigan ko dyan na wala rin ilong like me, kailangan natin mameke. And then, para medyo matone down siya, I will use again my blender. Grabe, napipeste na ako sa buhok na to, kaya na pa nalaglag ha. And so ngayon, since medyo okay-okay na ako sa bronze go, siguro kung meron akong gustong irito, kay mamaya ako na siya babalikan. I'm going to use, so this one medyo soft to. So what I do, actually with any cream product, no, you always warm it up muna. No. Since this one is super, super creamy naman, hindi ko na siya kailangan ilagay dito para i-warm up. Kasi yung iba, i-warm up yan sa kamay, and then dun kukuha. But I'm good. And then I put a little dito sa bridge ng nose para medyo drunk blush ko no. Pero medyo bumabagets masyado. So ngayon medyo extreme pa diba? And then I'm gonna put a little dito sa temples. Grabe super creamy ng formula nito like look. I don't, I'm not sure if you can see. Kita mo kung saan dumaan yung kamay ko. Can you see? 
to make everything look natural, I always sponge with the blender. Like kanina, di ba nakita mo parang umabot dito yung blush ko which is supposedly hindi. Kasi yan na yung pwesto ng highlighter. What I do is, I, I just drag it down. Kung nagkamali ka sa gawa mo sa makeup, you can always powder it off or lighten it ng powder para medyo matakpan yung mali mo. Doesn't have to be perfect. So far, I am feeling confident na super kapit to. I am medyo confident na hindi to mahuhulas anytime. I have to be careful lang since napakakapal ng ginawa kong steps. I have to care I have to be careful lang sa pagbablot. Dapat hindi ka nag sa swipe, dapat puro dab 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 and then retouch lang ng very light. If meron kang sponge, that would be even better kasi kapag ka nagbitak siya, yung sponge actually Medyo aayusin na yan. I am currently happy na sa itsura ng lahat. So just to add a little more coverage, kukuha ko ng konting, konting, konting air spawn dito. Meron akong, ano man tawag dito, velour puff or any any cotton puff. No? So I'll, I'll put it ng ganyan lang. Kung anong makuha, that's it. O, hindi ko na dadagdagan or pakakapalin. Focus. Do you, do, you, do you see si Patrick Star kung paano siya magpowder? Talagang pinapakpak niya talaga talagang pinubugbog niya yung mukha niya it's because it works so when people tell you beat your face beat your face it actually works it actually makes a difference alam mo kung kailan ko lang natutunan tong gamitin nung nung naglabas si Tati ng blendiful niya naisip ko will it be the same Pero kasi iba yung purpose na, na yun kasi pwede mong ipalit sa sponge. Ito kasi hindi. And then when that's all done, I'm going to use this one. Flash Metal from JCAT. Ito yung metallic lip niya. It's supposed to be waterproof. Pero wala pa akong lipstick. I'm going to use it sa cheeks. So sabi ko nga kasi super pawisin ako. Normally yung pawis ko tumutuli yan dito, dito. Sa ilong hindi masyado eh pero dito. Ito, dito. So, kapag ka naglagay ako ng anything dito, mad mabilis siyang mawala. I'm sorry, kailangan pala mabilis tong gamitin kasi mabilis siyang matuyo. So, after ko maglagay ng liquid, papatungan ko siya ng Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrizi Highlighter. And I'm going to use a large fan brush. Para mas natural yung dating niya. Natutunan ko to actually kay Scott Barnes. So, naglagay ako ng konti-konti lang dito. Yan yung liquid. And then, papatungan ko ng Si Scott Burns, what he does is he really ganyan lang. Biniblend niya ng ganyan lang. Very, very effortless siya. Welcome to the tricycle world. <laughs> And then I like adding here. Classic na letter C. And then, since gusto ko medyo mas exage pa yung loko, I'm going to use ito yung Jazzy na parang loose, loose powder siya na parang finishing powder siya na, na glowy. May mga micro glitters lang. And then, I like using yung gaitong brush, yung mahaba. Kasi mas mas nadidisperse niya yung ano eh, yung, yung powder. So, hindi siya concentrated lang. Like, kung ilalagay ko siya sa buong forehead ko. Kasi gusto ko yung forehead ko. Minsan mukhang pawis. I don't know why. Call me weird. And then, I add a little. Ganyan lang. Super contact. I don't like putting here. Kasi natutunan ko kay Wayne Goss na pag yumuyuko ka. Like, when you're looking straight ahead. Ganyan. Kapag yumuyuko ka, there's the shine. Hindi yung pag nakaharap ka ito. And then sobrang konti lang dito sa brow bone. Super super konti lang. I think yung banana powder really did a lot. I, I, I think it made a tremendous difference sa itsura. No? Mas malinis tignan ngayon. And mas highlighted yung T-zone ko. I'm going to finish up with lipsticks. I'm going to use two super stay lipsticks. So I'm using the shades sa dark dress first. Pang outline lang crucial part don't speak 
little over to it then I'm going to add a little shade yung light pink, yung loyalist I'm gonna add it lang sa gitna and then since yung kilay ko is full na and super bushy medyo finifill ko lang siya ng konti ng pencil normally I would use light brown or chocolate brown, I don't mind pero mas gusto ko yung light brown pero I only fill it lang para walang butas Once again, thank you for joining me again and again and again. Sobrang dami kong thank you sa lahat ng naging encourage sa akin. I know na almost all of my subscribers ngayon I are my friends. And almost lahat yon nasa Facebook friends ko na pinilit ko mag-subscribe. And I, 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 I really thank everyone for encouraging me to, to do better. And yung mga nagbibigay ng tips sa akin na I make it as natural as possible. I am learning. No? Until now, I'm still learning. And I really appreciate it. And I just enjoy makeup, no? If you enjoy yours, if if you enjoy how 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 you want to put your blush na ibang klase sa iba, or how you put your highlight na iba sa iba, I, I think makeup is a getaway from what you want to do, or it's a happy place. I think it's it's my, this is my happy place, and I really enjoy. It. So I hope I am making you feel the same. Once again, if you enjoy this video, I'm asking you to like, subscribe, suggest, comment, find the notification bell somewhere na hindi ko pa rin alam kung saan. And really, thank you for all the support and encouragement. This is Tim Tam, your head ninja, signing off.